Oh, shit. Out to hit the mic. Um, <laughs> guys, here we go. This is going to be a controversial one. Um, honest trailers, the Marvels, the, the, the movie, the movie that set com completely confirmed what everybody's been wondering and thinking. The first Marvel movie, uh, second Marvel movie to just financially bomb. Unfortunately, I, I think I uh, did it actually financially bomb or not, but it definitely did not perform as well as, uh, the others. Oh boy. Let's see what honest trailers has to say here. We uh, go. Here we go. From the studio, still nursing their post-endgame hangover. Man, yeah. Comes an epic team up between the fourth lead in WandaVision, <laughs> the least watched Disney Plus hero, yep. and the amnesiac who always says someplace better to be. Where the hell have you been all this time? There are a lot of other planets in the universe. I was going to come back. There was people that needed me. I'm so sorry. I have to deal with this. She, she does this a lot. <sighs> kind of makes you miss the old days. Older. 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 We really could have just stopped there, huh? <laughs> yeah. The Marvels. <laughs> you told yourself you wouldn't see another MCU film. I can't. And wow, you weren't kidding this time. Because now that it costs around 200 bucks a year to stay current, with about three movies and three shows annually, some of which are the worst things to happen to eyes since Bleach, how could you not hop off at this point? Even the characters skip the streaming shows. When did you get powers? Why did you get that? My grandma! So I switched with someone named Kamala Khan? Yeah, she seemed to be as confused as you are. Like the MCU itself, watch Carol Danvers get weighed down Damn. by Disney Plus baggage. The Annihilator's here. But yeah, well, she was, and then these two just sort of appeared. She's still so strong, her fights are a formality. <laughs> Still struggling to remember what happened in Captain Marvel. See flashes. And still letting that trademark charisma shine. Need a hand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't yes. want this. Yes. Still. True. Yeah. Very right true. Now, for Very the first true. time since Scott Pilgrim. Very true. Brie Larson gets to sing and dance. Give me a chance here before it gets so late. As long as you don't count the 2018 film, Basmati Blues. This can't be real. We're sending you to India. Me? This? I am just a fool about to fall. Is the Khan family okay with this? Oh, no, 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 no. Rounding wow. out the threesome is Monica Rambeau, whose powers and problems come from bottling mysterious glowing barriers. <laughs> Stop fondling the barriers. And carrying the movie on her back is Kamala Khan. True. The last teenager who still gets hyped for this stuff. <laughs> Iman Vellani gives her all as the top contributor to Captain Marvel's section on Archive of Our Own. <gasps> Hold that thought. But what? that love will be tested when she sees her hero leave refugees to die. Oh, Come on, now! Here. We need to save who we can. Almost gets her killed. Incoming missiles. We, we need fine. to leave now. I can Please. do this. And you'll kill us trying. And admits to some light genocide. I'm the reason why the Civil War started in the first place. I'm the reason why they couldn't breathe the air. That's how I got the name Annihilator. Just kidding. Besties always hold space for their queens to slay. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Entire planets. Oh, fuck. That's going to be really tough to doodle. Secret Invasion left Nick Fury a broken man. But that show will get memory hold, like Hulk's son, the Inhumans, and the fact that Earth is a giant egg. Besides, the whole scroll refugee crisis gets solved with a phone call. Yep. Bad flashback. Now, oh, wow. Furies become jokey Jeff Bezos, pulling randoms into space. Your dad is not adjusting very well to space travel. And abusing his employees. Much easier to transport a family of cats than hundreds of crew members. But if you're wondering where his wife went, why Skrulls are welcome on Earth. Good point. We'll kill every last one of you. Or how Carol feels about him secretly harvesting her DNA. Don't overthink it. Or he's a Skrull too? Or... 
black girl magic? Black girl magic! So gear up for another Phase 5 dud that, despite the online hate, is at its best when it's just having fun for g g g g girls true, true, complete true. with Disney princess makeovers, giddies, and using emotional intelligence to work through differences. Thank you. Iron Man could never. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. It's just that there mm -hmm. isn't enough cope in the world to huff before sky beams look cool again. Name jokes get funny again. Firefly, Nightlight, Countess Marvel, Mistress Marvel, Doctor Marvel, so Lady of Light, yeah. Ooh, Frequency, No, Pulsar, No, Pulsar, Light Lady. <laughs> Absolutely not. Won't work, Shopping. No, thank you. Or end credit cameos feel surprising again. You somehow crossed through a tear in space time. If they really want to sell a crossover, we should tell them about the Money Plane Initiative. Whatever you want to wager on, the Money Plane has you covered. Want to bet on Spider Man, an alligator? Secret Wars. Oh, okay, okay. Story. Kind of, okay. The Board Identity. Rambo. The first dud. Can you dig it? Hatch Adams. Soulmates. The singing planet is all dead now, right? The right. plot of Spaceballs. I would hate for your people to suffocate when I strip the atmosphere. Commence operation. Vac, you suck. Right, right, right. Wow. Suck. 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 Proof, this was written by AI. Ugh, why are hands so hard to draw? Kitten in the streets. Hentai in the sheets. And <laughs> take a shot anytime someone says jump point. 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 The marvelous Mrs. Space Holes. All right, the villain. Let's see. Big <laughs> hammer, makes his dumb face a lot, dies, never to be seen again. Classic MCU. Classic MCU. This is a pen. This is a pen. Uh. The laws of physics cease to exist on your stove. It's been a rough year for tomorrow. It's been a rough phase. Uranians are a small but hardy breed. Stop showing spiders. It's been a rough, rough been a rough couple years here for the MCU. Uh, interest is down. You know, I was talking to a fellow reactor uh, who uh, I know a lot of you all know. We've known each other for a long, long time. And sorry. It's getting so hard out here, y'all. I can't even pay. I can't even pay for Google, for YouTube premium anymore. So I'm getting ads all the time. Ad block, man. Anyways, um, and I guess interest is fading, uh, has waned a lot on the DMCU. And, um, you know, as you can see by What If, Echo, everything, right? The, the, the Midas touch is gone. Um, uh, but that being said, it was interesting with, with the Marvels because the trailer, I thought the trailer got me with the Beastie Boys. I thought that was great, right? But during the movie, I was just like, I was like, man, dude, like the main thing I think for me was, um, honestly, I feel like Disney Plus has done very well when it first came out. The Marvel Disney Plus, but di I really feel like a lot of the Disney Plus, it goes back to, it goes back to my Batman um, theory. Somebody asked me a long time ago, wouldn't don't you want to see Batman on the CW? And I'm like, no. I barely want to see Superman on the CW. Okay. Though that case in point, that actually worked out really well. But not really a Superman. I mean, that's an argument for another day. Good story. It's like family stuff. It's mainly just a family, a family show using the veil of superhero stuff, right? I feel at least. Uh, but Smallville worked that way, too. But my point is, Batman, one of the reasons I've never wanted to see Batman in the CW or just on the silver screen on a small TV is I feel like Batman has always been like a movie, it, like just on the movie, on the big screen, right? And when you, it, it's supposed to be a feeling. It's supposed to be a strong event. It's supposed to be just something, gr a grand scheme, right? Um, and then when you but when you start bringing them to the smaller screen, it sort of dilutes things a lot. When Disney Plus first came out, we had WandaVision. And because...
because WandaVision was like really the first Disney Plus thing, it did crazy and there was such a hype around it did really, really well. But as we all know, more the further we went down to every show of the Disney Plus Marvel stuff, I wouldn't say the worse it's gotten, but the more less interest people have had. And then on top of that, what it's done is it's sort of sort sort of kind of diluted things into when you watch it on the movie on the big screen, right? Because now it's starting to like some of the shows are looking good, right? But then the movies start to look kind of the same, and that's kind of what I felt with the Marvels was I was like, yeah, this looks like something. I probably just would rather see Disney Plus instead. You know what I mean? And I think that's was sort of thing. I think Star Wars, some, in some form or fashion, Star Wars as well, has had that sort of situation where it's kind of like, well, you know, it started really strong with The Mandalorian, but then it's starting to be a little iffy with The Mandalorian, right? Like, everything's sort of get, everything is getting diluted in that, like, magic is kind of disappearing, right? And that sometimes is what happens when it's a la carte one of the reasons the boys does really well is because the boys is just not it's just not a movie so we only know it as something that we can see at home i don't know i that this might be a th theory that's just one of my theories but i just felt when i was watching the marvels i was like man like you know i watched all the other shows but this story still feels kind of Joint, disjointed like i can't imagine if you hadn't seen any of the disney shows you'd be like who are these people you know um and then at the same time it was like what was the point of having all of them in there it, it's not it it didn't really feel like a big rewarding situation having kamala khan's family as part of the the story plot i'm like okay i guess and then on top of that it was supposed to be something like a mate cool or like really hype when the three of them meet and it just kind of felt like a dud it just felt like a show so it's very interesting how that works out now all that being said all that being said i'm very surprised that the people aren't talking about the x-men uh cameo at the end um as much as i thought um hopefully Hopefully, bring, getting them X-Men in there will just hopefully reinvigorate people's love for Marvel, but I'm not going to lie, it may be too little too late. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But daddy needs to pay bills, so I hope everybody gets back into Marvel real soon. <laughs> Red Ray Nation, stand up, seek up. Let me know what you guys think about the Marvels, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace.